Hey guys, I'm Sam from Filmer Media, and today we're reviewing the Rhino Arc 2. The Arc 2 is a motorized pan tilt focused head that can be mounted directly to a tripod or to a Rhino slider to create automated camera movements. You can quickly connect via your phone to the Arc and in minutes have repeatable keyframe cinematic shots. Before we dive deep into showing you guys a range of different scenarios that we shot with the Arc, I want to first go through its basic features. The Arc 2 head can take a capacity of up to 15 pounds on pan and tilt movements, which is quite impressive. We've been able to use our RED cinema camera kitted out with cine lenses with no issue, which is really impressive for such a small device. With an optional focus wheel controlled directly from the Arc 2, you're able to not only set A and B points, you're able to rack focus between those points too, which for us, who rarely use autofocus, this is a must feature and something that we've loved. Built-in dedicated time-lapse modes allow you to set the duration from the A and B points, similar to the video function, but obviously with longer duration. With two motor types available for the slider itself, you're able to choose the motor that best suits your needs. A high-speed motor capable of moving from A to B fast, and a high-torque motor capable of moving your camera vertically for an ascending or descending shot. Currently, the Arc 2 allows two keyframes, an A and B point. For most applications, this suits just fine, as more complex actions can be achieved through multiple shots. However, Rhino has notified us that the developers are currently working on up to five keyframes in any given shot, which really makes this unit's possibilities endless. To test the Arc 2, we wanted to throw a bunch of different filmmaking scenarios at it. Not just your typical corporate talking heads or product B-roll. Instead, we wanted to showcase what we do day in and day out as a production company and really highlight the capabilities of this motion control system. First up, we shot a music video. We shot the entire music video using only the Arc 2 to really show just how versatile and feature packed it is. Replacing your fluid head and creating repeatable A and B points meant we could record numerous takes and nail the shot each time. Here's a little bit from the music video itself. I'm jumping on a plane, I'm listening to Wanda, reminiscing all of the winter season antics. It's hard to believe in, cause I know I'll be missing. This time we knew how this would end, so I didn't expose my heart to break again. I couldn't bear those sobbing tears in vain. Next up, we wanted to showcase how the Arc 2 could be used in a narrative setting. We wrote and shot listed a short one minute thriller that once again was shot entirely on the Arc 2. Here's the short. There's a few things going on in this that we couldn't show in the music video. Firstly, our opening scene, the reveal, was a simple A and B point keyframe, but this time using foreground elements to show a long focus throw, we're able to really showcase how the Arc 2 can be used for longer tension building scenes. The use of special effects and body doubles are easily achieved using keyframe movements. We're able to firstly record the left of frame action with the actor and then repeat the same movement on the second time with the right side of the frame. A simple stitch in post and the shot comes together seamlessly. 
These shots are easy to do with a locked off camera, but adding movement can be difficult. This is truly where something like the Arc 2 really shines. Our next mission was to take the Arc 2 out and capture some amazing time lapses. We headed out to the coast with nothing but the camera, the Arc 2 and a tripod, and this is what we captured. Systems like this aren't without their limitations or quirks. And although the Arc 2 is truly impressive, there are a few little things that we've found during our testing that could be improved to make this system truly perfect. Firstly, most tripod systems have a leveling bubble. Considering this is a replacement for a fluid head, we would have liked to have seen a level on the Arc itself. Secondly, we found when setting an A and B mark on the slider, when the head moves to its end range, if we don't stop it before reaching that end of the slider, it continues to run the motor, which puts a strain on the belt. A simple firmware fix could see this fixed during the calibration of the unit. And lastly, which isn't a fault of the machine, just a limitation. When using heavier payloads such as a RED, the tilt axis is limited to 20 degrees of tilt either way. This is just something to take into consideration when shooting, as we had to adjust a few shots to ensure that we weren't going past that 20 degrees. So that about wraps up our review of the ARC2 4-axis motion control system. If you're considering purchasing the ARC2, there's a link in the description below that gets you 10% off if you use our code. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for future content including reviews, behind the scenes and breakdowns to filmmaking. Thanks for watching.